What's up Guiding Bolt fans, this is Nick with you today and I just wanted to show you real quick how to fix an error that you might encounter while using Cura and this is for, uh, I'm typically uh, printing 3D miniatures on my Sane Smart Ender 3. Now this error happens if you have older profiles that you're using and you've updated Cura to a version, I believe anything higher than 4.0. So you can see that I am currently on 4.3 here and I have an older Fat, Fat Dragon profile that I wanted to use from uh, Fat Dragon Games. So to show you the error, um, just go in here and try to import it quick. So you go to settings, profile, manage profiles, and then under import, you can see I have a couple different ones here. I just wanted to show you some of the other error messages you might encounter. So the one from Fat Dragon Games is right here. And when I try to import that, it says could not find a quality type normal for the current configuration. And if we try to import another one, this one says could not find a quality type high for the current configuration. So that's the, uh, those are the errors that we're going to be fixing. Now you can see here that I already have my printer added. It's a Creality Ender 3. If we go up to Settings, Printer, you can see it's selected there. And I just want to show you this because we'll be coming back in here in a second. But when you go to Add Printer, here is the, uh, the, the long list of uh, options you have. And under Creality 3D, there's my printer. After we make this change, we're going to see another option show up here for Legacy. Um, Ender 3 and that's what we're going to be using as that printer so we can import those old profiles. So let's go ahead and close out of here. We're going to actually exit out of the application all together. Bring that up just so it's up uh, because when we uh, replace these files it has to be reloaded so we'll just close out now. So to fix this what you're going to want to do is browse out to fatdragongames.com over here on the right under resources Let's click on the Kira Ender 3 slash 5 profiles and then click on the click here to download link and you'll go to the uh, Dropbox page and right here is where we're going to be going. It's Kira 4.3 Creality Legacy Profiles. Now you could also update to Kira 4.4. You can see that there are some 4.4 profiles out here and those should just work. Go in here. There's uh, different profiles right there, um, but that's not what we're doing. We're going to show you how to fix that error. So we're going to go in here, and there is actually a nice little write-up or a Read Me First article here. And if you take a look at that, that actually has the instructions that I'm going to be showing you um, for both Mac and uh, PC. We're going to be going through the uh, PC um, section. Um, there's where you, or I mentioned, it's going to have the uh, legacy option. So there's a little screenshot right there. And this up here also tells you why you're why you're encountering the issue. I'm not going to read that to you, but it's there if you want to take a look at it. So first things first, go ahead and click on the application files. You're going to want to download all three of these folders. There's a download up here. Um, you can see that I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. So there's my definitions, extruders, and variants folder. So go ahead and get those downloaded and extracted. You should have three folders that look like that. Once you have those downloaded and you have closed out of Cura, notice that it's not open, you're going to want to browse out to the location where Cura is installed. So here you can see that it is installed under C colon, program files, Ultimaker, Cura 4.3, and resources. And then under here, we'll have a folder that corresponds to each of those that we downloaded. So there's definitions, extruders, and variants. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy these guys and we are going to paste them up here um, and it's going to say that there's already a folder folders that exist with those names and we're just going to go ahead and merge the files so it's going to copy the files that are in these folders to those folders up above we'll say do that for all three of them all right now once those are all copied we're going to go ahead and launch Cura back up, and this is going to take just a minute here. So while that's loading, I'm going to take a second to plug the channel. Uh, hopefully you've uh, find or found or will find this video uh, helpful. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. We do put out weekly content. Uh, right now we're uh, focused primarily on D&D, but uh, we are going to be uploading videos for other tabletop games um, at some point in the future. So uh, again, please like and subscribe. Thank you for uh, thank you for viewing. Um, so the uh, software is loaded up. There's a nice little 
little Easter egg down there, huh? Um, once this is loaded up, we should now see if we go into printers, add printer, and we should see that legacy option that I was telling you about, and there it is. So Creality 3D Legacy. Expand that out. Sometimes if it doesn't load, just scroll in there. It'll uh, it'll make those options load. We're going to select the Creality Legacy Ender 3 and click Add. That is now the printer that we have loaded. And now when we go to import the profile, and actually let me show you those profiles real quick. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but just so you are aware, there's different profiles to import here, and it's kind of based on your um, your extruder. So if we hover our mouse over these, you can see here this is for the uh, uh, Ender 3 and 5, and then it says 2mm. So that's the your extruder, the size of the extruder. There is a 3mm. I have a 4 millimeter, so that is what I currently have uh, downloaded. And that's what we're going to be attempting to re-import and hopefully not get the error. So back here, we'll click on Profile, or Settings, Profile, Manage Profiles, and Import. There's our old uh, Fat Dragon Games profile that we tried previously and errored, and Open. And you can see here that it now successfully imported the profile. So we'll click OK, Close, and then now, let's see here, where is that darn option? Somewhere up here. They're hiding it on me. Here we go. Profiles. Man. Um, we should be able to go ahead and just select this profile. And that'll load up that profile and all the settings that are in there. So that is, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and toss that down in the comments. You should hopefully be able to figure most of it out with, uh, with this video and what is on the Fat Dragon Games website. But again, if not... Throw it down in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for uh, viewing. Please again consider subscribing and liking the video. And until next time.